What's up? Welcome to the courtroom. I am Theo. And I'm Oj. And in this podcast, we tell you stories about people's life, liberty, and property. Kikwentohan namin kayo about court rulings in a way that will make you understand jurisprudence like a nine-year-old. So join us as we delve into true crime, political controversies, and all things Tara de Chismis every week. Alam mo ba, during the early 90s, 43 high school and elementary school students from Daan Bantayan, Pinamungahan, Karikar, and Taburan, Cebu Province, and 25 high school and grade school students from Asturias, Cebu, were expelled from their schools by public school authorities of Cebu. For what? For refusing to salute the flag, uh, sing the national anthem, and recite the patriotic pledge. Isa sa mga students dito, si Roel Ebralinag. Tanong mo, sagot mo yan. No? <laughs> <laughs> ano nga bang issue if ayaw nilang sumunod? Kasi di ba yung observance of the daily flag ceremony is compulsory in all educational institutions as required by Republic Act Number no. 1265 and Department Order Number no. 8 of the Department of Education, Culture, and Sports. Gosh, buti pala. Hindi ako na-expel dati. Nalilate ako sa flag ceremony. Pero I don't refuse naman. Nakilang late lang talaga ako. Dati. Hindi na ngayon. Disclaimer. Def- defensive ka dyan, <laughs> Sa mga millennial listeners namin, DEX pa yung tawag nung araw, pero you may know this department now as DepEd or Department of Education. So, ayun nga, according kasi sa Section 3 of RA 1265, yung failure or refusal to observe the flag ceremony shall subject yung concerned educational institution and its head to public censure. And kung mas strike to pa sila of this violation, then they will have to cancel their permit, yung permit ng private institution na yun responsible for such failure. And bukod sa RA 1265, nakalagay din sa IRR or Implementing Rules and Regulations ng DO Number no. 8 na Bawat public and private educational institution shall hold a flag raising ceremony every morning. So, Yung mga teachers or faculty members and students na nasa school and its premises shall assemble in formation facing the flag. And syempre, they will sing the Philippine National Anthem. And lahat ng andon shall stand in attention and execute a salute. Parang kamay sa dibdib. After that, they shall recite the Patriotic Pledge or Panatang Makabayan in unison. Alam mo, hindi ko alam na may batas pala tungkol dito. Ano? Basta attend lang ako ng attend ng flag ceremony. Yeah, <laughs> Pero, so kung labad pala sa batas ang non-participation, bakit ayaw sumunod ng mga estudyante? Why? Ang saya kaya mag-flag ceremony. Kasi, ano, kasi yung mga students na yon, Jehovah's Witnesses sila. Oh. Sabi din ng parents nila, talagang tinuturuan nila yung mga bata na wag sumaludo sa flag and not to sing the national anthem. Saka din not to recite yung panatang makabayan. Yung belief kasi nila, those are acts of worship or mm. religious devotion which they cannot consensually give to anyone or anything except kay God. They feel na bound sila by the Bible's command to guard themselves from idols and they consider the flag as an image or idol representing the state. Oh, pero pero alam mo Och, di ito actually yung first time eh, na na-involve yung mga children ng Jehovah's Witnesses to something similar. More than 30 years ago in 1959, the same issue was raised in the case of Jerona et al versus Secretary of Education. Ah, yes, naalala ko yung Jerona ruling. ba yung Jerona ruling yep. niya. Inupheld ng court dito yung expulsion ng mga students kasi according to them, the flag is not an image but a symbol of the Republic of the Philippines. It is an emblem of national sovereignty, of national unity and cohesion, and of freedom and liberty, which the court and the constitution guarantee and protect. At under daw sa system of complete separation of church and state in the government, the flag is utterly devoid of religious significance. Kaya naman, saluting the flag does not involve any religious ceremony. 
Pagsaludo daw sa watawat ay mahahalin tulad sa pagtake ng oath of office or admission ng isang candidate sa bar. Sabi din sa Jerona ruling, yung pag-require daw sa mga school pupils to participate in the flag salute is not an imposition of religion or religious belief. It is merely enforcing a non-discriminatory school regulation na applicable sa lahat, kahit ano pang religion mo. Mm-hmm. Kahit ano, mm-hmm. kahit mga Catholic, Muslim. Yes, correct. We follow only one law. Uh-huh. The state daw kasi is merely carrying out the duty imposed upon it by the constitution na uh, yun nga, one is supervise, second is yun, regulate lahat ng educational institution to establish and maintain a complete and adequate system of public education. And para na din siguraduhin na lahat ng schools aim to develop, among other things, a civic conscience and teach them the duties of citizenship. Kaya kung susundin natin yung Gerona ruling, yung mga children ng Jehovah's Witnesses cannot be exempted from participation in the flag ceremony. Madidisrupt lang daw kasi yung school discipline and demoralize the rest of the school population which comprises the majority if these students will be exempted. Sabi ng court, if a small portion of the school population imposed its will, demanded, and was granted an exemption, yung flag ceremony daw will become a thing of the past and shall be conducted with fewer participants in the future. In dadating daw yung time that we will have citizens that are not imbued with reverence for the flag, love of country, admiration for natural... Uh, natural? <laughs> natural here. <laughs> <laughs> mga puno to, mga punong kaho, hindi. Admiration for national heroes and patriotism. And uh, the Gerona ruling was actually incorporated sa Section 28, Title 6, Chapter 9 of the Administrative Code of 1987. Daming numbers, galing. Kabisa, kabisa <laughs> wait lang. Kabisa, doon na hawak mo. <laughs> May cheat-cheat talaga ako dito. <laughs> Kala ko kung anong hawak mo dyan. Bilib na sana ako eh. Kala so, ko kabisado mo. So, yun nga. Nakalagay sa admin code Litin na... mo. Walang tingin. <laughs> Next time. Memorize ko muna. <laughs> so, nakalagay sa admin code na any teacher or student or pupil who refuses to join or participate. Sorry na, alim ako. Pu- the... Pupil pa din yun uh, daw. Uh, Parang ngayon ko na lang ulit narinig yung word na pupil. Uh, uh, ano sabi ko? <laughs> so, any teacher or student or pupil who refuses to join or participate in the flag ceremony may be dismissed after due investigation. Pero alam mo, Oj, kahit na naisa batas nat lahat, uh, the Dex in Cebu continues to receive complaints pa din eh, from teachers and pupils na Jehovah's Witnesses because they still refuse to participate. Pero hindi mo naman kasi sila masisisi. Faith kasi nila yun eh. Um, yes, in response nga sa mga complaints na yon, nag-issue si Miss Susana Kabahog, yung uh, Division Superintendent of Schools of Dex Cebu, ng memorandum reiterating the Gerona ruling. Kaya yung mga school officials resorted to a number of ways to persuade the children of Jehovah's Witnesses to obey the memorandum, but to no avail. Kaya yun, napilitan yung mga schools to expel the students. Oh. Dahil dito, the students and their parents filed this special civil action for mandamu, certiorari, and prohibition alleging that the division superintendent of the schools in Cebu acted with or in excess of their jurisdiction and with grave abuse of discretion. And uh, yung expulsion down nila without prior notice and hearing is a violation of their right to due process, their right to free public education, and their right to freedom of speech, religion, and worship. Ayan. So, ngayon, ang tanong, pwede ka nga bang ma-expel or pwede bang ma-expel ang mga estudyanteng Jehovah's Witness for refusing to take part in the flag ceremony? Ang sabi ng Supreme Court? Sabi ng Supreme Court. Daming sinasabi ng Supreme Court lagi. <laughs> While it's true na hindi natin dapat tinetake lightly yung 30-year-old decision of Gerona, the present court believes it is time to re-examine if applicable pa ba tong ruling na to. Yun. Times are changing na nga daw kasi. And yung idea daw that one may be compelled to salute the flag, sing the national anthem, and recite the patriotic 
uh, pledge during a flag ceremony out of fear na ma-dismiss ka sa trabaho or ma-expel ka sa school is alien to the conscience of the present generation of Filipinos. In this case, the court held that the right to religious profession and worship has twofold aspect. One is yung freedom to believe. Pangalawa is yung freedom to act on one's belief. Yung freedom to believe is absolute as long as the belief is confined within the realm of thought. Pero yung freedom to act on one's belief is subject to regulation. Lalo na if that belief is translated into external acts na makaka-affect sa public welfare. Oh, makaka-affect dapat sa public welfare. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, sabi naman ng mga Jehovah's Witnesses na students, hindi man daw sila mag-participate sa compulsory, compulsory flag ceremony, eh hindi din naman daw sila gumagawa ng kahit anong external acts or behavior that would offend their countrymen who believe in expressing their love for the country to the, through the observance of the flag ceremony. Nakatayo lang naman daw sila quietly and attentively during the flag ceremony to show their respect doon sa mga pin- piling mag-participate since they do not engage naman in disruptive behavior and this will not affect the public welfare naman sabi ng court wala daw reason for them to be expelled ang uh, sole justification lang daw kaya nililimit yung exercise of religious freedom is the existence of a grave and present danger take note dapat grave and imminent yung danger in one's exercise of religion. Meaning, nagkakos siya ng serious evil to public safety, public morals, public health, or any other legitimate public interest. Kung wala namang ganung threat to public safety, then the expulsion of students from the schools, as per the court, is not, not justified. justified. Oh, no. After all, ang hinihingi lang naman nila is exemption from flag ceremony, not exclusion from public schools. Kung saan mapag-aaralan pa din naman nila ang constitution, the democratic way of life, the form of government, and hindi lang art, science, history, and culture ang matututunan nila, but also training for the vocation of their future profession and the virtues of patriotism, Respect for human rights, appreciation for national heroes, the rights and duties of citizenship, and moral and spiritual values bilang lahat naman yun part ng curriculum nila. Tsaka yung expulsion ng members of Jehovah's Witness from those schools will violate their right as Philippine citizens mm. under the 1987 Constitution, which is to receive free education. Kasi duty ng state to protect and promote the right of all citizens to quality education and to make such education accessible to all. Moreover, forcing a small religious group through the iron hand of the law, to participate in a ceremony that violates their uh, religious beliefs will hardly be conducive to institute love of country or respect for duly constituted authorities. Yan, kasi nga lalong pinipigilan, lalong nagagalit. Yan. <laughs> Nireiterate lang din ng court na syempre the right not to participate in the flag ceremony does not give them a right naman to disrupt such patriotic exercises. Well, the highest regard must be afforded to the right to free exercise of their religion, hindi ibig sabihin na powerless ang school authorities to discipline them. Um, should they commit uh, breaches of peace by actions that offend the sensibilities of other persons? That's right. In the end, the expulsion orders issued to the Jehovah's Witness students were deemed annulled and was set aside by the court. If you guys like this audiogram, please listen to the full episode on Spotify or on your favorite podcast app where you can hear our insights on this case. Again, this is Oj and Teo leaving you with a reminder to always look back in history because President shall rule the future. Thank you for listening and we'll see you again in the courtroom. Bye!